In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Rexon RHP 530. I have five tips and tricks that are gonna make your life a lot easier when you're using this thing, especially with your paramotor. If you wanna know how to Bluetooth it to your Sina, I'll post a link up here somewhere and I just made a video on that. You can Bluetooth it within less than a minute. But today we're gonna go over a couple of quick tips that I wish I knew before that I now use all the time. Tip number one. I came across this one by accident, but I find it comes in really handy when you're flying. If you're trying to check the battery level on your Rexon, all you have to do is tap the power button and then you're gonna get the LCD screen with big letters telling you battery and how much percent is left. It's a scale from one to 10. So on mine right now, it's 7.4. That means I have about three quarter battery left. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but when you're up flying and you're wondering how much battery power you have left, that little battery icon is super hard to see, especially when it's mounted to your chest strap. I actually just made another video about a chest panel where you can mount your radio and your cell phone and everything while you're flying. Works really good with the radio. I'll post a link up here somewhere. Tip number two. Okay, another really useful thing that this radio offers is the weather forecast. Partly cloudy, plus four, wind northwest 20, gusting to 38, relative humidity 53%. It will actually tell you the current weather and it'll forecast the weather as well. It's just kind of on a loop and goes over and over and over. So to get into the weather channel selection, you press the F at the bottom left and then you press the menu button in the middle. If you don't hear anything, you can scan using the up or down arrow. Once you've found your weather channel, you've done listening, the way you get out of it is simply by pressing the clear button. And now you're back into your regular radio frequency. Tip number three. Okay, so this one works really well, and it's for Bluetooth. Once you've already paired your Bluetooth with your Sina, you can now toggle in and out of the Bluetooth simply by pressing the D button on the side of your radio. There's a little icon on the screen, and when the Bluetooth is searching, it'll be blinking. When the Bluetooth is connected, it'll go solid. So that's a nice indicator to know if you're actually connected to your headset or not. If you have your radio and your cell phone connected at the same time, and you need to take a phone call, you're gonna have to shut the Bluetooth off. So I find that this button is super handy just to get out of Bluetooth. You turn your Sina off, turn your Sina back on, let your phone connect, then you can do your phone call. Then when you're done your phone call, you turn your Sina off, then you just press that button once more, your Bluetooth comes back on. Then when you power your Sina back up, everything's connected, your radio and your media from your cell phone. I'm gonna make another video about that because it gets a little bit complicated when you have your music playing, you have uh, cell phone capabilities, your aviation transceiver capabilities, and when you're live comming on your GoPro, it is possible to do everything all at once, but you have to kind of push a couple of buttons if you wanna use your cell phone, just like I explained. But as long as you know which buttons to press, it's not really a big deal. And it's nice to be able to do all four of those things. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you turn the Bluetooth off on your radio, your radio still works. So you're gonna be able to hear air traffic coming in and out on the radio while you're on the cell phone. So if something's up and you need to get back to your radio, it's not like you just turned it off. It's there, it's just not connected with your Bluetooth until you reconnect it again. Tip number four. Okay, we never wanna use this one, but it's nice to know that it's here. It's the emergency frequency. And to get into the emergency frequency, all you have to do is press the bottom 121.5 on the bottom right hand corner of your radio. Press and hold for three seconds until the numbers generate all the way across the screen. Now you're in the emergency frequency. If you wanna know more about that, I'll link something down in the description so you can read up about that. Once you're in the emergency frequency, you can't press anything else. Everything is locked. The only way to get out of it is by pressing the clear button and then it brings you back into the regular frequency that you were in before. I noticed that the press and hold technique takes a little while. So if you need to get into the emergency frequency a little bit quicker, just press the F button and then the 121.5 button and you'll jump straight into it. Oh man, it's getting friggin' hot in here. Ugh. Tip number five. This one's pretty handy. It's nothing to call home about, but if you have this radio on board with you, I guarantee you, you're gonna use it. It's called keypad lock. So once I set my radio up and I put it in my chest mount, 
and I'm messing around with my lines and I'm launching, I've noticed sometimes this little tiny dial on top has turned on me. I don't know how, but it must have rubbed on something or maybe when I was putting it into the chest panel, I might have bumped it and I didn't notice. And after flying for an hour and then landing and noticing that you weren't even on the right channel is not a very responsible move, especially if you're flying around airports or busy areas. So once you set up your radio and you're on the right frequency, all you have to do is press the F button and then the enter button. You are now locked and anything that you touch you can even spin the dial on top. Nothing will change any of the settings or the frequency on the radio, problem solved. If you need to get out of it, you just press the F button again and then the enter button one more time. Oh, and one bonus tip. When you turn your radio on, does it sound like this? If your radio sounds like that, you probably accidentally pressed and held that button down. So you wanna make sure that that static is gone because it's gonna be in your headset and it's gonna drive you crazy. So if it is on, press and hold and you'll get rid of it and then you're back into that silent mode again. If you've made it this far, I wanna congratulate you. I have a lot of fun making these videos. If there's anything else you want me to review, just comment below and I'll see if I can do it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video. I wonder if I can do it with one finger. Yeah.